and he's off. All right, guys, welcome to another episode of the Lure Challenge. Um, if you've not seen a previous episode, basically what I do is take a lure that I've never used before, give it a water test, about two hours or so, um, and then bring it back, go over the go over the lure, you know, say what I like, say what I don't like, and um, yeah, just basically see how it does. Try catch some fish on it, and uh, just test it out. So, without further ado, today's lure that I'm going to be testing is the Westin Percy the Perch. Now I've been looking forward to using this for a while. I bought it probably about three weeks ago and, <laughs> and it's just been sat in packet waiting to do this video and I've just just been wanting to open it and use it so finally I get to use it today. Now these Westin packets are a bit difficult to open so bear with me a second. So the only um, Western lure that I have used before is the Mike the Pike swim bait, which is amazing. I love that. So I've got high expectations for this one. Um, but yeah, looks <laughs> looks amazing. Straight out of the pack, it's 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 um, a perfect perch replicant. Uh, yeah, three D scan of a perch basically. It's it's um, this colour's bling perch. But it's, yeah, it just looks pretty much like a normal perch to be honest. Head's a bit shiny, that's about it. It's um, got two size one arch trebles, which is, I thought it was just going to come with that front one. So it's nice that it's got a stinger on it. But yeah, really looking forward to using this. Uh, 200mm, nice, uh, nice swimming action looking at that. So yeah, we'll get out on the water, give it a test. Hopefully catch some fish and um, after I'll see you back here for the review. One but <coughs> first pack of the day. Oh, there we go, guys. First uh, pike on pace of the perch. Nice little lip hooked as well. I need a little jack about a pound or so, but I've literally been fishing five minutes. <laughs> so, great start. That. Get that released. So, Purse of the perch definitely catches. It's all right.
well, just caught my second one at day. Uh, another little one, but I've literally been fishing about 15 minutes now. <laughs> so that was like five minutes after that first fish that were awesome. So yeah, definitely working well is um, told Percy the perch. Got, got them all hooked on Stinger Rock as well. So it's a good job that came with it really. Kind of ruined my trace, that pike. But yeah, we're doing good with Percy the Perch to uh, two pike in 15 minutes. I've caught that one right out in mid, mid water as well. It's um, canal's really low today, so I think um, the pike might be a bit all over the place. So it's just it's just a case of casting casting everywhere, <laughs> seeing if we can find them. But yeah, two already, that's a good start. Well, um, had them first two out <coughs> and nothing for about 15 minutes now, but I've got a bit of competition on canal today. There's, uh, two or three other lure anglers on like normally I come on a weekday after work and there's no one here but it's Sunday today um, and there's there's a few people uh, after the pike so uh, might be a bit harder I know one bloke's had, had a double out already well some old lady showed me a picture of a bloke with a double that they said he caught a couple of minutes ago so yeah just depends what lures they're using <laughs> There's one, there's a fish. There we go, pack number three. Probably wasn't expecting that, took it as soon as it hit water then. Another dinker, I think. Aye, little one again. <laughs> On Stinger Rock again. Smaller than other two, that. There we go, third pike. About an hour in now, had about 45 minutes without a fish. Covered quite a lot of water, but into one now. Look at the size of bait that's tried to take as well. <laughs> Greedy little pike. Got a few scratches on him there, so I think he's been caught recently and like been put on path. But let's get that little cut out of his mouth. <laughs> Steady. Feisty little one. Yeah, pike number three. Get that one put back. Water level so low today. It's weird. Oh, yeah. I am. Uh, I'm enjoying using this lure today. Not caught out decent on it, but it definitely catches fish. <laughs> Just happy that it's came with that stinger rock. Because the uh, the pike, the Mike the Pike Western ones don't come with a stinger, and it's it's pretty much what I've caught them all on today with stinger rock. So yeah, happy with that. Fish number three. Quite a lot of light left as well today, so uh, might get into a few more. There's one. There we go. <laughs> That's pipe number four. Another little dinker again. <laughs> Bit bigger than that last one though. Oh. 
and he's off. Nice sort of backflip release. That were, um, yeah, that were nice. <laughs> Probably about two pound or so, but yeah, nice to be catching quite a few fish today. I've been here, let's have a look, hour and 25 minutes, so yeah, getting plenty of hits. Right guys, so it's the uh, next day now, so finished the review off of the um, Western Perch to the Perch and uh, overall I'm, I am impressed with this, it's, um, yeah, does the job, catches catches pike, managed uh, three three pike and then one dropped off, so basically four, four pike, um, but yeah, I'm really impressed, good quality. Looks amazing in water when you swim it. I mean, if you straight retrieve it, it's got a, a nice swim to it. If you give it a jerk, you know, it, it flips on its side. Looks, just looks like a dying perch, which is what you want, really. So yeah, works spot on. But yeah, we'll go through the uh, the five things like I can normally do. Uh, start with price, which is kind of the main downfall for it, really. I mean, this, uh, in England anyway, it's 18 pounds to buy this which is quite steep for a for you know a, well it's half hard half soft but for a soft plastic it, it's quite expensive um, I mean it is worth it in my opinion but you know it is quite a lot to be spending on something that can that could potentially get ripped up in a day but you know it does come with good quality hooks it does does swim away amazing you can tell they put a lot of work into it, so yeah, it's expensive, but it is worth it. So I'm I'm gonna give that a six out of ten for price. You know, eighteen pound for a uh, soft plastics is quite steep, but you know, when it's good quality, it's it's worth it. So yeah, six out of ten. Um, versatility. Basically, what I mean by that is. Um, how well does it adapt to different situations? And uh, to be honest, pretty well. You can fish. You can fish it quite shallow. It says on the lip um, running depths one to three meters, but um, if you fish it slow, you can you can fish it quite high in the water. Then obviously, if you fish it fast, you can get it down right down to that three meter depth. So yeah, it's it's good for that. Um, you can fish it fast, you can fish it slow, which is, I think that's best, that's what I like most about this, you can fish it super slow, so when it's, when it's really cold and the pike just don't want to chase anything, it's, it's going to be perfect, you know, you can fish it, you can fish it slow, just get them, uh, them fins moving, them tail, tail moving and that, and you know, should be a good winter lure this, so I look forward to using that in the winter. Um, does come in some, Pretty jazzy colours as well. If you're, if you, you know, if you're fishing low light conditions, I mean, this is, this is the bling perch, so it's kind of like a natural bright pattern. But you can get the dull perch, which is basically just an average perch colour, and then like a few like fire type, well, like crazy parrot, I think it's called, and then you know some other colours that stand out a bit more. But yeah, versatility, eight out of ten for that. Uh, not a few points off because you can't get it to go super deep, but. Other than that, it's spot on, yeah. Um, next um, is confidence. How confident am I using this lure? How confident am I that if I pass this lure past a hungry pike, that the pike will take it? And um, I've given that a 10 out of 10 for confidence. I mean, I had 
two, two hours with it. Um, and I, I wanted to carry on fishing, but I ran out of light. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, two hours, managed, you know, four takes. There were a couple of other people fishing. I was talking to a lad, um, I'm correct, he's actually subscribed to me, so you might watch this video. But yeah, I was talking to, talking to him and he'd been fishing for three hours on canal. He did not manage anything, so I, I was expecting, you know, it to be really tough. But, you know, I did manage a few fish on uh, Percy the Perch. So, yeah, that's got good confidence in this. Um, so, yeah, 10 out of 10 for confidence. Um, next is build quality. And, um, you know, it's, it's good quality, <laughs> basically. It's got good... Uh, Good sharp hooks on it, which is like the most important thing. Swims well, great paint job. Um, it's nice plastic as well. It's nice, nice and um, I don't know some some soft plastics. You get the plastic's a bit crappy, but this, yeah, this is this is good plastic. Um, it's got a few few cuts in it as you'd expect from uh, catching a few pike, but nothing nothing too major to be honest. So yeah, build quality. Given that a 9 out of 10, because yeah, there's nothing, not much I can fault on that really. So, yeah, 9 out of 10 for build quality. And uh, even if you um, you do tear your uh, soft plastic up, you can remove, you can remove, um, you can remove the back off it. Somehow, I don't know how to do it, but you can remove the back off it. And, um, you know, just replace just replace the soft plastic bit. That's like uh, I think it's about eight pound just for the uh, plastic bit. So you know, it saves buying a full new layer if it gets torn up. So yeah, uh, build quality nine out of ten. And the last thing is um, fun factor. How much do I enjoy using this layer? And uh, you know, it's really it's really good fun to use. You know, when you can mix it up a bit, you know, you can use it like a normal swim bait. You can. Uh, you can use it like a jerk bait if you want. You can fish it fast, you can fish it slow, you can fish it deep, you can fish it shallow. So, um, so yeah, fun factor. I'll give that a nine out of ten as well. Which is, uh, you know, I did enjoy using it. I didn't want to stop fishing. Only reason I stopped was because um, I ran out of daylight. <laughs> so, so yeah, it's uh, good lure. Overall score for that is eight. 0.6 out of 10, so uh, top of the leaderboard. The um, Spro BBZ is 8.4, and the um, Savage Gear line through Roach is 8.2, so yeah, just scraped into the lead there. But yeah, really impressed with this. I'd probably, I'd probably say I like it about as much as I like Mike the Pike, you know. It, it's, it's basically the same. In, in how you fish it, it's just it's a perch rather than a, a pike. So <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy with this um, this lure. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you've got any suggestions of what lures you want to see, leave a comment down in the description, and um, I'll see you next time. Cheers.